Okay guys, so to start off with, what you want to do is you want to just take your blending tool and start blending these sketch lines that you have for the face. Now the reason I do this is because uh, it just makes the outlines really, really nice and smooth and also it just spreads the color out which makes it look as if these are shadows. So you want to make sure you're not blending these out completely. Also I've already done eyes, eyebrows and everything else because I just want to focus on I just wanted to focus on skin for this video and nothing else. And yeah, so the very first step is to take a darker version of the skin color, the base color, and just start adding that color using soft blend brush if you're using Procreate. And the reason why I use soft blend brush is because it paints and it blends at the same time. I have a video on that as well if you want to check that out. And if you're using um, Procreate, you can just take a hard brush and your blending tool and it'll just work the same way. So basically what you wanna do with this color is you have to first paint a basic structure for all the shadows. And I do it with this color, which is not that dark as compared to the skin color. And yeah, it just gives me a base and it also guides me uh, in the process while I'm adding more and more shadows. So the step one is to blend out the um, sketch lines that you have for the face and the next step is to lay down this first layer of shadows with a dark color which is not too dark if that makes any sense so before i go ahead with what i was saying here what i'm doing in the next step number three is i'm taking a darker version of the base color of the skin color and i'm going over these um, basic or base shadows just to add more depth and that's how i actually shade the skin layer by layer and you can just just skip the first step where you use a lighter color to lay down the shadows you can skip that but it just really really helps and it also adds um, realism to the face so the uh, the thing that i was talking about is that when you're painting a male face um, you want to make sure you are focusing more on harsh looking shadows in highlights because of the sharpness i should say sharpness of the face that um human male face has so you want to make sure you are focusing more on harsh looking shadows than soft looking ones and as you guys can see i have these little lines on the cheeks or below the cheeks and uh, which just represents that the cheeks are not fuller because when we uh, paint a female face their faces are more fuller as compared to male face if that makes any sense and that is why i am doing so so it also add this masculine feature to the whole face when you do so and when you are painting a female face you focus more on you just focus on both shadows but not only on harsh looking shadows if that is making any sense so that is the reason why i'm using soft blend for the whole thing you also must have noticed these two lines coming over the under eye area and that is also adding this masculinity to the whole face so that's how you do it and i'm sorry if you hear background noises because that's how it is whenever i'm recording and uh, just excuse me for that so yeah just lay down this second layer of shadows with this dark color and when you are done what you want to do is you want to create another layer now again we are going to be going over these shadows but this time we are going to be using this maroonish deep maroonish color and the reason being that our face is a combination of different colors especially you have to add um, some pinks or some reds because we do have blood under our skin so this color would represent that so do not forget to add such colors the combination of different colors also pick colors from your environment that you have for your painting it might be blue it might be anything and just add that color onto the face because I, our face reflects back uh, the light around us so yeah but i don't have any involvement around the face that i'm painting right here so that is why i'm not really adding any extra color onto the face sure you're adding this color with soft brush don't add this color with soft blend because this color is too dark and too deep and yeah just use soft brush also whenever you are painting face uh, make sure to avoid using blending tool as much as you possibly could because 
again we just want to keep a good balance of um, harsh shadows harsh shadows should be there and the reason why your portrait painting might look washed out is because you're using blending tool too much and you're just blending everything out too much and uh, that just ends up looking ashy and the reason for ashy looking portrait painting is also uh, because if you're only using um, just uh, colors from one under and not really using colors from different undertones so that might be the reason so yeah that's what i am doing right here nothing crazy if you haven't watched my video on how to shade skin um you should watch that video as well and in that video i'm actually painting a female face so you might want to check that out as well so yeah just do this do just complete this layer of shadow now once you're happy with all of the shadows what you want to do is you want to pick up pink color and we are going to be adding blush to the face because right now this looks lifeless for me at least i just love adding blush and also what i did is i also added a slightly darker color than the base color um around the areas which were really really bright because those were just standing out a lot so i just added that color and now again i'm just going back with the blush and i add blush on the nose the bridge of the nose tip of the nose and on the cheeks as well and a little bit of the forehead as well because you want to keep a good balance everywhere around now comes the favorite step my favorite step which is highlighting for that i'm using white color in soft brush and sometimes I do use medium brush as well because that brush is kind of harsh and I love that using for I love using that for highlights so basically it's just really really simple a little dot on the tip of the nose a little line on the bridge of the nose also on the cheekbones as you guys can see those are really really chiseled so uh, you want to add some of the highlight on those highest points of the cheeks and then some, it, some of it on the forehead and around the mouth and yeah wherever you think the light should be hitting the face just add this highlight so as you guys can see i add a little bit of highlight on the forehead as well and the whole face looks so 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 chiseled so yeah that's you that's what you want to do also um yeah i didn't show you guys how to paint lips because i already have a video on that and if you do want to check out how i did that i'll i will post a reel on my instagram so go ahead and check that out just to see how i did it it was so so simple and quick so that's that just to add a bit more texture to the face i'm just gonna go ahead and add freckles to the face and using this brush called freckles by kadri's brush set i don't know how to pronounce it I actually downloaded that brush uh, for free. I do have a video on how to download um, Procreate brushes for free instantly on your iPad and install those on your Procreate on my channel. So I'll link it down in the description and you will find that brush in that video if you want to use that. And once you add freckles, what you want to do is you want to also go over the freckles with your blending tool so that it's not looking crazy so other than that this video is done you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you do create this out of this tutorial tag me on instagram and i'd love to see what you created other than that i'll see you guys in the next video